Why should you brush your dog? There's reasons. We're going to cover that. As a pet groomer, I've used thousands of products and tools. I'm only sharing with you guys my favorites because I know they will produce amazing results for you. Guys, this is Molly. She is a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. She came in today with very matted ears. I have already dematted her left ear and this is the hair that I removed from that ear that was tightly matted. The reason Molly's ears are so matted is because she has not been brushed in probably about eight weeks. So this is what's gonna happen. I'm using my Activet Matte Zapper Slicker Brush and I am letting the brush do all the work, guys. That's one thing I wanna stress about brushing. You see this mat right here? That is just hair that's dead hair that is sitting in her coat and causing a mat. The more time that passes until Molly is brushed, the more hair that's gonna build up and increase the size of that mat. What technique am I using here? This is called line brushing. That's when we brush in a line pattern. We're sort of picking away at the hair, if that makes sense. Just You, you can see that I'm, I'm holding her hair tight with my thumb, so I'm not pulling on her on her head, on her ear. I'm just pulling on the hair, but I'm gently tugging. The more I brush and brush and brush, the less resistance I get in the mat. The mat is separating. Guys, these brushes are amazing. You have your red matte sapper, you have your pro firm purple, you have your pro green soft, you have your silver coat grabber for long haired, silky haired dog, and you have your gold super soft coat grabber for collies uh, and very silky, longer coated dog. Continue to hold on to the hair and the ear so you're only brushing the hair, not her ear leather. You can cause brush burn on a dog if you're brushing in the same spot over and over and over again. So you kind of want to move to the left, move to the right. Just don't focus on one area over, 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 over because you can cause brush burn to a dog, especially on their, their legs or their body. Guys, I want to remind you, I'm here for you. Remember, if you're struggling with any of these details or the techniques and you're you're hung up on it, you're not sure if it's working, you can't get it to work for you. Just leave me a comment. I promise I'll go into great detail and help you along. I'll move you through this. You will be successful at it. Your dog will not have to have mats in their ears and their tails and their armpits. We're gonna take care of that together. Continuing on, just like we have been before. We've only been brushing now for about two minutes on this ear. Now we're gonna check it with our comb. See, I am snagging. That says it's still got some problem area there. And just move the hair out of the way. Take a look at things. See what you got to get at. And just pick it away with the brush. With each stroke, it will loosen up. Trust me. And look, we're still getting hair in the brush. That's the hair that was causing that mat. And we are removing it from the coat, leaving only behind the good, healthy hair. I know this is something that a lot of people struggle with. They look at their dog's matted ears or matted tails or wherever the mats are and they go, I can't put my dog through this. I, I don't know what I'm doing. That's what we're doing here today, guys. I'm here to tell you, it is simple. You can do it with patience, the right technique and the right tools. And that's what you're learning here. So don't look at these types of jobs as something that you can't do. So why is it important to brush your dog? It's very important to brush your dog. You know, obviously allergies, skin problems, just, just overall skin and coat health is extremely important when we think about brushing our dog. But here's what I wanted to throw out there for you guys, just a little thought. Why wouldn't you brush your dog? This is something that I never understand. People say, do I really need to brush my dog? I got him cut short. Do I need to brush him? Well, even if you only had an inch of hair, would, would you still brush it? Of course you would because it's good for your scalp. It's it's good for this your skin. It's good for your hair. It's, it's just, it stimulates regrowth. It stimulates blood flow. And those are some of the same reasons, some big reasons why you would brush your dog. Even if they don't seem to have tangles you don't need to wait until your dog has tangles to brush them you're brushing them to promote good health you know stimulate that coat stimulate the skin the blood flow everything it's 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 very important guys brushing your dog so this little yorkie here this is sugar so we're brushing her out and you see i got some hair out in the brush 
It's just dead hair. That's another very important reason why we brush our dogs. We got to remove that dead hair. The dead hair becomes mats. It's very important. And, and, and a good brush will, with ease, will, will remove that. Now, we always want to check our work with a comb. If we can get a comb through there, then it looks like we're pretty good. We can move on to the next area and brush and keep brushing, you know? So our comb is our checker. Very important to have a comb. You know, you can't just brush. You could if you had to, but I really want that comb. Obviously, with sugar, she gets a lot of eye debris. Now, we have some other videos on that, and I know a lot of your dogs at home are suffering from that. So go back and look at some of the other videos. Now, after we bathe sugar, I always brush them when they're wet. Guys, this goes for any breed. I want you to know that. Any of you guys out there. This is a great tip, brushing them when they're wet. You've already brushed them before the bath. Now you've washed them. Now you're they're up on a table and you're drying them or, or they're just in your living room and you're drying them. But see, I'm still getting hair. That's important. And it comes out very easily after we bathe them because their skin's soft. However, you want to be real careful when you're brushing them when their skin is soft because they were just bathed. But And then we dry her or let them dry. If you don't have means to dry your dog, it's okay. Let them dry. Then go back and brush them one more time. See, we're still getting more hair. It's very important, guys. This, their skin is like their, the biggest organ in their body. We have to stimulate it, take care of it, promote regrowth and good growth and, and not damage the coat. That's really important too. Now, certain tools can. That's why I'm always preaching to you guys, a brush and a comb is, is the safest thing to do. Now, here... We're obviously using some quicker slicker. This is a Shih Tzu's tail that's highly matted. This tail was, you would have never gotten a comb through this. And, and a lot of people look at that and they would go, oh my, I don't know what to do. Listen, it just takes patience. I think I dematted this tail in less than three minutes. And, and I put a little quicker slicker in, but you wouldn't even have to put the quicker slicker in, guys. It's a great product. We all know that. It just helps you get there faster. But a brush, a brush is all you need. I'm using an ActiVet brush here in this demo. I do love those brushes. This is just an all-purpose ActiVet. It's not a special, it's just the, I, I forget, it's the red one. I forget what it's called, but it's it's nothing crazy. It's not the D-matter. And I'm just taking my time, gently picking away at it. And that's all it takes. Don't look at your dog's tail that's all wound up and crazy and say, uh-oh, I'll never get through that. What do I do? Do I get the scissors out? Do I start cutting up? No, just a brush, honestly. Then check it with your comb. If your comb starts to snag in areas, that tells you what areas you need to pick at and work at with the brush, gently. And I'm holding her tail away from the hair that I'm brushing. I'm, I'm So I'm, I'm tugging on the hair but I'm holding it with my thumb, if you guys can see that, so that I'm not pulling on her tail. I'm just pulling on the hair. Just take your time. And this, these techniques, you'll become better and better at it the more you do it. But it's very important for us to brush our dogs as much as possible. People will say, how often should I brush? Hey, listen, as much as you can. I couldn't tell you that, that any amount of brushing, you, you know, an over amount of brushing is... is is okay as long as you're brushing safely and gently it's good for your dog's skin and coat even if they're a short-haired breed so you can see guys this shih tzu's tail is almost all dematted just with just with a little quicker slicker and a brush and, and, and what have we spent a couple minutes it really wasn't nothing it didn't take us any time just be patient those mats will break free honestly it's it's simple and I really want you guys to know that. I don't want you to look at a matted tail or ears and go, I'll never be able to get through that. Hey, just try it, please. Just try it and then take your time, pick away at it, and you'll see that dead hair coming out in your brush. And that is what was in there causing the mat, is the dead hair that's going to come out in your brush. And look, we're getting a comb through it. We did good. You guys can do it too. I just really want you guys to know it. You can do it. Now remember guys, I did not use any products dematting the ears on Molly today. I strictly used an ActiVet brush, specifically the matte zapper brush. I do have videos on my channel that show you more products 
that will aid in dematting your dog and de-shedding. I'll link one in the card right now for you. The purpose of this video today was just simply to show you that you can do this with only a brush, a good brush, more importantly. I really want pet owners to understand that. However, you do need a comb to check your work. That lets you know if you need to continue brushing or if that area is looking great and you can move on. So in the description of this video, I'm going to link the ActiVet brushes and a good grooming comb that you guys can purchase. Those are the only two things you really need to thoroughly brush out your dog or to de-shed your dog. You don't need any other tools, guys. I'm going to link another video right here that talks about why we don't use other tools on our dog's coat because we do not want to damage that coat. And I do think that is one message that has gotten lost over the years from pet professionals, groomers, vets, and pet owners. I think everybody's looking for a simple, quick fix for de-shedding, dematting their dog. I want to tell you guys, it is simple to de-shed and to demat your dog, but you do not need to purchase tools that are claiming to be a problem solver. The problem solver is a brush and a comb. I just want to remind everybody of that. We are so used to advertisements. We are so used to people trying to sell us something better to make our lives easy, to cut down our work, to. But, but honestly, guys, this is all marketing 101. People are inventing products and tools and, and gimmicks and gadgets every day to make money. When it comes to taking care of our pets, I just want you to know you only need a brush and a comb. 